What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, y'all? It's your homie Thax. Tarek is the name. Gains is the game. I'm gonna talk to you about how do you start lifting and how I started lifting in my my starts and what I think after my experience. How was the best way to start your lifting game? It's a fun game. You're gonna get lots of benefits from lifting when I make a video. What kind of perks you get after you stop bodybuilding, but that's for another story. For now, let me talk to you about how do you start to lift. Now, first off, I would recommend you start at home with a normal push up routine. I remember when I was 13, I guess, yeah, 13, 14, about that age. Uh, they won't let me in the gym because you had to be 16 to enter the gym to have stupid gym rules anyway uh, For some reason I couldn't enter the gym until I was 16 So from 14 to until 16 those two years I did a whole push-up routine and uh, Mostly a push-up routine really and I, I actually had a pull-up bar. I uh, You know fixed it jammed it in the, in, like both doors I did I had a pull-up routine I jammed it on the bathroom door. <laughs> I I used to do pull-ups, man. And like before I like before I went to bed, and uh, first thing when I wake up, that was my pull-up routine. And I used sometimes on the weekends I used to get up in bed, like you know, do that Batman push-up stretch, like in the morning do some push-ups. You know what I mean? Was it was some good stuff? I got a lot of benefits from that. So once you get that push-up routine and you got a uh, pull-up bar, if you do not necessary, if you if you want to get a pull-up bar, you could. That's what I did, and you can, you know, the only thing I did was did, did those, you know, jump, uh, jump squats, you know, like, you know, those jump squats like that, like, you know, place and shit, no, it was pretty good. That's how I started my lifting uh, career. So I started off with that, and then when I decided to enter a gym, I went to a classic ass gym, man, like, you only had, like, a squat rack, you had a bench, a few dumbbells, we didn't really have a lot of, uh, Machinery, not a lot of machinery was there, but that's how you gain that muscle memory experience because you're doing that old school routine, yeah. And that routine, you're uh, like you have those weights and you have to get along with them, <laughs> so you have to get along with those dumbbells and those that that squat. And these days, I see some some of your guys, some some guys were well, not not you know, some guys. They come to this new ass gym with all those machinery and they think that the machinery is the king. And they fully, you know, focus on those machines. But like, oh man, this is the new shit. This is the, you know, we have an advantage, you know, on, on like on like those old class bodybuilders where we can do that machine and, you know, focus on that muscle, the exact muscle and shit. But that, that's not the case, man. With bodybuilding, old is gold, man. So you have to get to know the basics, man. You can't beat squats. You can't beat bench press. You can't beat dumbbell press. You can't beat dumbbell curls. You can't, you know, all that stuff you can't beat, man. It's unbeatable, you know? It's just, it's unfuckwithable. Yeah? Unfuckwithable. You can't fuck with that, man. That's classic, man. You gotta get, get back to basics. So, I mean, I, I think I talked a lot about this, but you have to go to the basics. Because once you got those basics down, all those machinery will be all those new machines will be nothing compared like compared to those. So you will get, you will you will take that off. Like you have to have that on your checklist. Like join an old school bodybuilding gym. Tick. And and most like mostly most likely in those kinds of gyms you'll have those gorilla looking dudes and they'll be lifting around and they'll be like ah that way you know shit like that screams all around and. You know, yeah, buddy. You know, you know that that the kind of gym, man. I remember when I was, uh, I went to the gym, and there was this guy at the gym, and he used to make like loud ass noises, like you don't know what what the hell he is to be to be screaming, like for a second, he'd be like sha la 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 la. I'm like, what the fuck, man? sha la 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 And then, that, that's that's the kind of stuff he'd be screaming, but he'd be a Big ass dude, and you can't be, be talking shit to him, man. He's just huge, man. What the fuck you gonna tell him, man? You're like a tiny, skinny ass dude. You shut the fuck up, man. When the big dog is talking, man, barking, you just, you know, you just, you know, just stay, stay down and you know, just look. 
and enjoy that. <laughs> you got to. But that 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 was the old old school gym, man. Nowadays, if I see him, I'm like man, what is the game, man, bro? Come on, relax, bro. We're trying to train, you know. Yeah, man, that's how you do it. All right. Second, and uh, yes, yeah, squats and the pull-ups, and then you you gotta get a coach. For some way, somehow, I had a coach when I started my uh, bodybuilding career. It was not it was not on purpose, but it, it happened, you know. Because if you don't have a coach, you're gonna waste a lot of time, you know, doing stuff that or form where you might not be known, that you might not be doing stuff right. Having a coach around would, would, would really help, I think, like a lot, because it helped me a lot. And so I still remember my coach's name. His name was Ruel. It was a good guy, man. So shout out Ruel if you, if you ever watch this, man. Props to you, man. No, I thank you. And uh, yeah, your food. What, like, I remember my days in the beginning of my bodybuilding career. I didn't really care about food, man. I used to eat whatever, whenever I wanted, and that's how I lived, man. Pepsi Cola, Fripalola, man. They get pizza all day, all night, burgers, man, pasta, whatever, man. That's how I lived my, you know. And I was a teenager back then, man. You know, I enjoyed my teenagehood, man. I was not gonna go on those strict ass diets and no, uh, you know, protein, this protein. I, mean, I had my protein, but you know. I enjoy it, man. I still remember when I was in Australia, I'm like, <laughs> I was in an Australian gym, and because uh, I, you know, I was there for like one year, and uh, I used to grab a pizza with me, like I had pepperoni pizza. I kept that in the locker, <laughs> and when I was well, <laughs> when I was about to leave the gym, you know, the trainer saw me, and he like, like, you having a pizza, mate? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm having a pizza, man. I got to get my gains, bro. You know, pizza's the best. And it was like, man, you know, you're a fucking wanker. <laughs> oh, yeah, whatever, bro. I mean, I'm getting my gains, man. Check this out. So, yeah, I mean, I had pizza. It was good. And food was not that important to me. Plus, I was abroad, man. Food is food, man. I just got to get whatever food I can get at that time, man. Pizza was doing the job. So, pizza, pizza, pizza it is, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so that's about it, man. That was how I started. That's how I think you, sh you guys should start, man. That's the basics. And uh, yeah, the trick is you just got to do push-ups. And the reason why I tell you to do push-ups is that when you, when you go to a gym and you have that push-up background, you won't look like a pussy when you lift. I mean, at least you'll have that power, you know, that bench power if you do that, those standing squats and squat power. I mean, all in all, you'll, be, you'll still be looking like a pussy in the beginning. That's fine. But you will have that background, you will have that muscle memory that your muscles will know how to contract, will flex with that motion, yeah? So all in all, homies, that's how I think you guys should get done. And if y'all new in this game, starting off, Check out my channel, I'm gonna give lots of tips, you're gonna gain a lot of advice from me. So, like, comment, subscribe. Ha ha ha! Holla back at your boy.